What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I'm going to tell you about a bit of a balls up. So I previously left the episode with this army going to fight this Dutch force here, but I fought the battle. I uh, had some technical problems. I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll save the game and then I will load back into where I was so I don't have to refight the battle again. And then it crashed, so I lost that battle. But it was only a small force, it's a bit frustrating, um, but it was only a very minor Dutch force and I had an overwhelming army to deal with it. But if nothing else, it means we are now able to fo well, not focus on, well, I'd say this army, and engage a much larger Ottoman force. So you're still going to get your action at the start of the game. I'm just sorry that it wasn't the right one. Uh, it just kind of slipped through the old brain pan. That could be a bad idea. Oh well. I was having issues around um, trailing, like weapons and projectiles having trails in my videos. It turns out, even though if you have battle effects turned off and you have the uh, enhanced trails turned off, you still get... You can get trails if you make your deployment zone large. Like, you just can't get rid of them. Um, but right now we have a fairly small... Well, not small, but uh, depleted Ottoman force arrayed against us. Actually, let's take three units and deploy them behind my line. Let's create two assault brigades on either flank. Ooh, only one on the left, so they'll get the bulk of the cavalry. And we've got two men on the right. General in the centre. Deploy my guns at the rear to bombard. We are attacking uphill. take my battle line, have them advance, deploy my cavalry, I think, let's just bring up my melee troops, okay looks like we've managed to chase them off. We'll chase off the idea of these Mamluks going after us. Our gunners are engaging. Hold on, let's turn my own personal sound up. There we go. Fire! Very high arc on these shells going after those. Must be the gunners, but they've done. We've sort of missed. meant you guys to shoot rather than be charged. Okay, hand mortars are up front. You guys charging? You are charging? I don't really care about you. Two man, smash that hand mortar block. Hand mortars can potentially be devastating. That's a good volley against my cavalry, my lancers. So I'm hoping I can try and get some troops to commit to engage the hand mortars. Get everyone to run in general. Yeah, they managed to chase off my nice chase off my uh, cavalry, so what I might do reform the line a bit more intelligently to try not to get too overly bogged down in melee charging get my oh no melee that was a mistake, I don't know how that happened Gunners, feel free to engage. Bring everyone back. Muskets out there ready. And then let's pick a flank to push. So you men are going to advance up. Hindu warriors and Gurkhas push the right flank. 
first battle of the session, they're always a bit funky. Form square, can't charge the horseman with my Islamic swordsman. The whirling dervish, you may push forward. Janissary musketeers attack with my melee troops. You men charge that hand mortar unit. You just really can't afford to let them have any breathing space. You men should be able to mop up these horsemen. Okay, deep. You men units fall back. My Gurkhas will have a good time against those Janissary infantry. Take my infantry and push up. And the Mortars are still a thing. You men pivot. Ah, here we are. Gurkhas and dervishes push the enemy guns. My guns focus on hand mortars on the left. There you go, now my infantry are going to make merry with their muskets. Islamic swordsmen to run around the flank. These Kizobashi units should hopefully make ready in. Oh, they've got to reload. Hand mortars, hand mortars, and grenadiers. Hindu warriors go after the ninth. Gurkhas chase down the fifth. You have to be aware of the fact that there are enemy units over here. Shut the Islamic swordsmen. Good, they are engaging the hand mortars. Gunners, engage that unit of hand mortars. They're very good. Bayonet charge, cease the artillery fire. Deploy against the Janissaries to the rear. Show my melee troops. Yeah, there is our running. Oh my. The new musketeers can run fast enough. But they can't run the right direction. They will have to redeploy. Deal with the incoming threats. Let's make you guys run. These guys are all dealt with by and large. Come on, you men. You might be tired, but get across those walls. Charge from a mighty distance. It's imperative that you reach the melee engagement zone before they form up and fire. So they might be able to get a volley of. No, they've made ready to respond to uh, react to the charge. Hindu warriors have gone for the camels, so should they break sooner, they can pivot around into the rear of the Janissary musketeers, but we've got plenty of troops coming in. And Kizobashi units, they do slightly more melee attack than Hindu troops, but they've got a lot more charge bonus and defense. But 
Down they go. That's one army. Knocked out on the road to Ankara. This is their captain. Their leader, who looks like he wants to keep slowly retreating. The AI has, does like to do that at times. They will seek to run rather than engage, but not run to even to withdraw. They will just try and run around. Janissaries are going down. Good stuff. The Gurkhas are a pretty beastly unit, both in real life and in the game. I'm quite glad I've got this more unique look about them, but they are dying at some significant margin. But they're both wavering, camels and the remaining cavalry. There we go. They are out of here. Excellent. I mean, to kill their general, which is nice. Which is always nice. Sweet. So that is one army destroyed. We've got plenty more on our road to the capital. And we have got Boku Bucks. Yeah, there's a few more there in the city. You hold position. Reinforce. You don't go anywhere. Okay, let's make sure. Where's my... Yeah, my sound's back now. That's weird. Okay, keep on checking that everywhere they can build. Top level roads has built them. We are still expanding in South America. We are, but I think well, we want to wait. Wait, uh, maybe one more turn before we push on Cayenne. As for in Europe, you need three units of troops. Ideally, you could do with some interesting melee troops, but you're not going to get them. So, fellae, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, for three fellaines, probably not. Oh. Two fellaines and get a unit of Israeli. There we go. That army's done. You're pushing up to the central point. You're pushing west against Ankara. So you're going to hold. You're going to hold. You're all going to push up towards Damascus yourselves. Elsewhere on the continent. So you need stuff. You're going to get a unit of Ayadi. Ahadi, if we haven't used these yet. Superb heavy cavalry. Which compared to... So 16, 25, 19, 12. Compared to Sipahi... Lots more melee attack, more charge bonus, higher defense and higher morale, just better across the board. Yeah, they are. So anyway, you can get six of them, but many more Sipahi. So we're going to get one of each, plus a Kizobashi cavalry unit. That's three. I did notice a great gun. So we're going to get one great gun, because you've already got two 24-pounders, so that's four units. So that gives you five remaining free slots. Let's get a Kizobashi unit, two Hindu musketeers, and a war elephant. That's the last war elephant unit I can get, but I can get elephant musketeer. That's pretty neat. Uh, so that's eight, 19. One more slot. I get a unit of Indian mercenaries. And then what we're probably going to want to do is immediately begin the recruitment of another army because we need to keep shutting these out at this point. You know, Gurkhas, Hindu warriors. I always like to mix up my melee troops because you've got so many different types. There we go. So the full army under recruitment. This navy can repair. We've got a full. Ooh, some good ships here, but you could probably do with... Okay, let's take a fourth-rate ship of the line. Take two-fourths. 
take a Shebek, and then you are going to recruit some fifths to act as a like a little mini trade fleet. You also take two fourths and recruit some trade ships. Three fifth rates and a fourth. Good. You men sail to Paul Bandar. And then in due course you will become upgraded to a full power fleet as well. My soul has no more religious unrest. So I'm probably going to send your agent up to Ardabil. Then we can push up to Chechnya and through Russia that way. Arkot has no more religious unrest either. So you, good sir, fantastic imam. But he's got mostly... Plus three to zeal, that's pretty good. We want to get you up to here to cross over into Istanbul and get ready to attack the Balkans. So we start sending our... The agents that we no longer need... Well, you. Let's keep one around just to do some mopping up. So... Okay, you need to go to Nagpur. And this force here at Satara. Actually, where was it? No, it was Satara. Yeah, very, very happy. Lots of religious happiness. So we can afford to destroy the state madrasa here. Because we're not 100%, not but we got rid of all religious unrest and we're very, very happy. So we're going to get some more industry. Kanatsk is probably the same, but you don't have a madrasa. Hyderabad has a madrasa. Yeah, they're going to do the same. Eh. It shouldn't be too bad to do that. Although the madrasa might be handy just to bump that number up a little bit more. It's only 59%. Madnigar. Okay, let's not, let's not go mad sorting out all of our imams. We've got some plenty of time to do that. Let's upgrade some of these buildings that are not yet complete. Okay, good. In terms of tech, nothing on the horizon except classical economics and a few turns. But we can leave that be. Uh, yeah, the main thing is going to be pushing on Damascus, securing Latika, Latakia, and Limassol. Because he's give us some good dockyards in the med. So let's hit end turn. So we've got a lot of my agents to... <laughs> they're going to, get going to continue scampering on. Keep pushing my priests up. Those are dervishes going to Ardabil. Britain is content to keep pushing out the Spanish. We are going to let them, even though well, Spain's our ally at the minute, but we're not actually at war with any major Spanish enemies. I mean, we're at war with the... Uh, Dutch, but I'm not so worried about them. So what will the Ottomans do? Or the Russians, or anyone on the border. In the bo On the border in the Caucasus. That's why I want one army to hold with two garrison forces nearby. Yeah, you can, you can raid... Good, got some good upgrades. 77,000. We're going to start booming. We might reach a point where I'm going to be uh, taking a lot more cash into my empire than I'm going to be spending. But we are then going to rapidly spend a lot of it once we get steam power. Definitely want you guys to keep, re well, keep upgrading. Cotton Warehouse in Spain, Weaver's Cottage Upgrade. And we fortified Baghdad, which is good, but fortunately we've got enough reinforcements in the area as it is. So let's push you men up. You're probably safe to push up to here, because you're not going to go through this piece of terrain. 
You're going to hold. You men storm out. There's two armies pushing on the capital. One army to hold here. Actually, what you could probably stand to do. Crew a general and get some two Falim musketeers, two Kurdish hillmen, and a gun team. And they're going to lead this reinforcement with militia to Yerevan to hold the city. Free up this army. Got a military government's encampment, so we should be able to add a bit of oomph to these garrisons should they be needed. Apart from that, we're currently out of range. Let's see if we can make some space here at Paramaribo. Very unhappy. Good, but they're now okay with that small garrison, so push towards Cayenne. These chaps here in Trinidad and Tobago, they're replenishing, but we can escape from the port if we want to. Quite where we go, I'm not sure. Maybe Newfoundland secure new territory and we can also build a uh, madrasa up here and start to introduce agents into Fort Nashwak or into potentially Moose Factory to the north and attack through North America. That's another way to do it. And how about you, good sir? You're, yeah, you're, you're an okay garrison army. Let us dispatch. Let us dispatch three units of infantry to Ardabil. You can recruit some guns to make you a bit more useful. We still might be quite unbalanced. Uh, so you should be okay. Yeah, now they're pretty happy with us. I'll only get, well, fairly happy with us, but I'll only get better once, re once the resistance to, from, to foreign occupation carries on. Test of endurance, don't worry. You're, well, you're gonna, only going to convert a little bit of, a little bit of Naroon to get rid of that last bit of religious unrest, and then you'll be on your way. Okay, let's get rid of two of these sloops, because we don't need them in Basra. You're, you're all pushing forward. Don't want to push to get push too mad. Let's try kill their general. Nope, bad luck. One of my agents has been spotted in Anatolia. He's got some plenty of good recruitment going. Oh yes, that's right. Craft workshop and do, 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 do. Where else did I knock one down? Or was there only just the one? Might have just been the one. Your Majesty. But you are gonna get some cavalry as well. I was going for a really heavy cavalry army for this, and actually well no, if they be heavy cavalry, then they're gonna be battlefield they're gonna be a battlefield army rather than a siege army something like that you yeah four more units then you'll be done good plenty of arm plenty well we've got a good navy a couple of good navies protecting our shores that's handy very very handy you're topping up your units okay cool My agents continuing to move up to the front line, spreading the good word of Allah as they go. The Gurkhas have got recruited. Lahore has got a full garrison of Tufangi to maintain public order. It looks like there's another Dutch force that's going to attempt to attack us. We're going to send another force along the main road towards us. Ooh, interesting. Lots of cavalry. Okay. Let's defend this Ottoman attack, and that will attrit their forces near Damascus to make it easier for the follow-up uh, attack and capture. So let's get to it. Advance slowly. See if we can... Let's trend all my guns up 
So they're going to stay behind the lines. So let's select alternative units to make sure my Kizilbashi are spread out amongst my line. Oh, I missed one Hindu unit. Oh, that's okay. The right flank with ye. A war elephant and an armoured cavalry and a Sipahi unit. So what I wanted to achieve was a formation that doesn't leave any of my Kizilbashi units exposed. Uh, you can probably unlimber and fire from back here. So they might attempt a few charges, but my hope is that we can square up and counter charge any enemy attacks. Yeah, the guns are not firing from the best angle. Ooh, potentially a good hit. Ooh! No, my war elephants. Great hit on my war elephants. My guns are going to attempt to engage their guns and do a good job because they've all clustered up. Even my misses are doing good hits. Okay, we're beginning to engage their skirmish cavalry. Make ready and fire. You won't do much damage at max range. Not a single sausage of damage. Pivot, you fellas. Artillery's still bombarding the center mercilessly. Get my Gurkhas around the flank. Mamelukes have been lured in with a charge. Counter charge them with my Gurkhas. up and engage. My Gurkhas will take them down a peg or two. They finally found my Kizilbashi. Between two squares and my Gurkhas on their rear. Even former. Deploy my war elephants. Pull my Gurkhas back to the square. Counter charge the Mamelukes because they're upset. Go get them, war elephants. Get revenge for what they did to you. In advance. All the cavalry broke on the left flank. Push the Sipahi up the flank. Unsurprisingly, they have taken this combined elephant cavalry charge very badly. So get this infantry to form up. My Gurkhas are shaken. Pull them back. More elephants and fall them back. Let's use my infantry for what it was intended. Gunning down enemy. He's still strong cavalry reserve. Libyan Kolugu. Kologlu. They look pretty good. They look like what sort of nomadic troops you may expect to see. Spahi engage their light cavalry. 41st ceasefire. They're broken, but we're going to get a successful charge off and do some good damage anyway. Very well. Fall back. Mosaic 
swordsman to come around on the flank as well. There we go. Now we've defeated their cavalry threat, their musket threat becomes a lot more manageable. Our superior drills will allow us to gain an advantage. Even with just Hindu musketeers. They are pushing up though. The Hindu musketeers here engaging. Pull my Sipahi back because they're getting attrited from enemy skirmish fire. My infantry just keep reloading. Pouring fire on them. We're ready to commit to the charge if that's what they want to do. Engage the skirmish cavalry here. Don't form square. They they wheeled off at the last minute. Okay, let's commit my men to the fight. No, nope, you men form up and cut off that flank. This little formation, this little pocket here, is going to be consumed. Skirmish cavalry continuing to engage. My gunners are doing should be doing a number on their their mounted troops. This pocket on the left is going to be chewed up by my combat troops. Oh, well, we're being engaged. Bring my general over, who granted being being a camel. Born. I've not used him as well as I should have done. Let's represent my troops going a bit wild. Okay, so the Libyan troops are now back within range of the 41st. And full of kills. Semini unit is going to attract the fire or the focus of my uh, it's, it's my swordsman. You men all charge down the hill. The AI thinks he's gotten away with his general, and he's lured me away. Other troops. Islamic swordsmen attack the Semini. Yes, I think they use their Libyan troops to try and lure me away. My general's been killed in the first. Oh god! The elephants are charging my own Gurkhas. That's the Gurkha delivery mechanism. Yeah, that killed a lot of Gurkhas. Mental note elephants are dangerous. Charging from th charging through your own lines. Yeah, that's fair enough. Excellent. So not necessarily as as uh, clean as we may have liked, but I think that's becoming an overall trend for the Mysore Kingdom. We do not necessarily fight clean battles, but we fight fun ones. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're probably going to siege the city to try and attrit the defenders somewhat. Quebec is bolstering its uh, blockade of its own territory. So, good, our agent's in there. Good, you're ready to engage this Ottoman force. Let's push you up. Large Madrasa, clearances, upgrade the military governor's barracks. Yes, 
good. New town emerges. Most damn in Punjab. In theory, a chilled tavern building would be useful here. You guys are doing nothing useful. So all the stuff in Yerevan we've already dealt with. So Armenia, Armenia, Paramaribo, you guys get cobbled roads. Reaper's Cottage in Sind. Upgrade the military buildings in Calcutta. Not this massively needed. Potentially fortify it. Good, then lots of top tier. Lots of top tier buildings done here. Now. New men put that native, mostly native uh, equipped territory under our control. Because I want to try and manage what to do here. And yeah, you all got your you've all got your objectives. So you men attack the city with a lot of troops. But then again, a good chunk of them are, are treated, but not a massive amount. Bring them in. Bring you guys in as well. Got a lot of fights here. Because you can attack the road south. You may engage Abdullah Ghalib. Force them back to the capital. Because the end is, is on the way. For the Ottoman Empire. We're pushing on to their last city. We are uh, attacking Damascus. Then it's only a short hop to Jerusalem and Cairo. Then the North African coast is ours. With all of the amphibious invasion opportunities that gives us. So let's deploy our guns just a shade further back. Yeah, the shells do arc, so deploying them a bit further back is prudent. Yeah, I do generally like the old engulf and trap with my melee troops. Rightly or wrongly, I do like that as an idea. I should get my generals involved a bit more often, so let's do that. Means you can have a really wide formation. And there goes one enemy gun team. You will target the next regiment of demi cannons. To be honest, I don't even need to run. I'm just get I just get a bit uh, overly enthusiastic at times. These melee troops definitely try and occupy the town. Push my skirmish cavalry forward. To engage their skirmish cavalry. Ah, oh, looks like my artillery focused on there. Nope, there we go. You can get multiple cavalry hits. Multiple artillery hits here. I can now make my infantry line run. Charge the hillman. Got a Sekban Janissary unit it's currently hiding. They're shattered, so withdraw. Classic form.
Push my melee troop up the flank. Charge these Kizilbashi into the camels that have charged here. Huzzah! You, you need to hit the infantry guards. You men get in here. Help the cavalry. Ooh, riskers of souls. They're dangerous coupling. Charge of the rear of those enemies there. I slam into this infantry combat here. This could get a bit messy. This, not so much. Bring my melee troops to bear. Two units of pikemen. Yeah, they're a threat, but not a huge one. This is a bit of a scrap over here, isn't it? Bring my general in. Kizobashi, run in. Dervishes, run in. The enemy general has fallen. New musketeers in against the janissaries. Cease fire the guns. Gurkhas hit the camel nomads. You men cover them. You men get over here. Get the lances over here as well. Okay, combined cavalry charge. Plus my general. Break these riskers of souls and these janissary musketeers. Of souls, as we dip our lances, Janice Musketeers are down. Risks of souls are upset, but they've not left. Cavalry's been chased off by my Gurkhas. Excellent. Form for a parade. <laughs> Nice, there we go. So that is a Ottoman army defeated and sent scurrying back to the capital. You men push it up. You men. You may actually go around the coast. Now, looking at the timer, we're probably not going to fight the city battle today, but we probably. Just upgrade that a minute. Probably gonna fight this action here and secure Cayenne from the Ottoman Empire. I mean, there's is there an argument to be said for just waiting and waiting for them to be turned into rebels and attack them? Sure. But I think what we'll end up doing is uh, just fighting them normally, taking the territory, and we'd start getting them converted over to Islam ASAP as possible, to quote Michael Scott. Got native troops at the ready. Got a large contingent of guards. Let's keep my regular infantry on the right. My three Royal Indian Infantry Guards are going to push through the woods with a Sikh Musketeer unit in re as, as reinforcement. Seat musketeers are going to be on the right flank with our Islamic swordsmen in support. The rest of my infantry, my melee infantry, is going to cover the line. Skirmish cavalry 
Cluster together on the right, nomads on the left, general in the center. Right. Oh, my guns. Open fire. particular fuss on what targets they go after specifically whoever they choose to engage is a reasonable will be a reasonable uh, option camels skirt at the top of the hill so I'm holding down shift to do queued orders Not anticipating huge amounts of trouble, although I will probably want my infantry to run into position. A skirmish cavalry can skirmish. Hmm, some of their units may actually get into a good position to engage. Square. I'll see musketeers. They're some of the best. I think they might be the best infantry unit that my sword can bring to bear. Yeah, my skirmish cavalry should be opening fire on the enemy melee troops. Ah, uh, yes, you guys hit the advanced element of the armed populace. Charge the pikemen in to attack the enemy. Mounted enemy uh, risks of souls. Let's get you guys in against the mounted tribal auxiliary. You men push around the flank here to attack. That unit of riskers of souls, yeah. Give them some more as like swordsman support. Everyone's charging, I suppose. Where's my cows? A unit of Muslim plus amount of tribal logs generated to the rear that constitutes their general. I don't eh, deploy squares, okay. Take my musketeer units and form a line. My gunners engage that tribal auxiliary unit. Musketeers form up, whether or not it's the right decision or the right, the most efficient way to lay them out. Aha! think they were looking a bit slim. Charge! It's the last thing the native units would expect. All of you get over here. Bring my camels around to ignore the native bowmen. Instead, hit this native warrior auxiliary unit in the rear. Horsemen chase down camels. Chase down the enemy. Bowmen. This could be quite a delicious little route, really. Because they're going to be attacked from all directions. Hindu musketeers have hit them. Broken, broken, broken. And 
just charge on into the Muslim. Anyway, is that my swordsman again? I'm going to do make short work of this armed populace unit because is that my swordsman a pretty? I mean, that's, that guy didn't. He had a bit of a torrid time. And there we go. This last unit routed to actually that's the general's unit, the armed populace. Not that it really matters about making sure they all die because they have all fallen. Excellent. Fortress is taken. Let us dispatch riders to the port to prevent it from being destroyed. And then let us upgrade steam pumped gold mine. And then here we can build a sloop to occupy the port. Good, because that's an army, that's a town that provides quite a good chunk of income. Now we've dealt with this. Good, good, good. Okay, I could probably stand to upgrade you to a naval hospital. And instead, let's go for two second rates and six third rates. Got a reasonable little fleet here. And you, you might hold where you are because we can't move this army from any. We can't move this army out of KN until we recruit uh, more garrison troops. So they're going to stay where they are for now, rather than attack anywhere. Yes, me, Lord. you got one more turn to get all your artillery. Good. Um, I'm tempted to hit and turn and see if they attack us anyway, because regardless, we're going to be attacking them next turn. One more turn till we get Classical Economics. Let's hit and turn. If they don't attack us, then the first one of the first things we do is attack them. And I'm about to see all my ships sail off to my... Uh, new trade fleet formations and all my recruitment from my other indian armies too excellent that army with the dutch army on it is gone Ooh. yes 12 grand for georgia Question is, can we hold it? Because they probably hate us, but that's actually quite interesting. Potentially dispatch one of my brand new armies from India to Georgia. Oh, they're going to they're going to walk away from the city. They're probably still within range. To reinforce the city. Yet yeah, we've now got a border within 13 colonies, which may or may not come and bite us in the backside. So let's have a look at our new territory. Classical economics, good stuff. And you've gone straight on with rights of man. Secular humanism, my bad. Actually, they, 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 they don't mind us. Let's upgrade Thracker's core, tobacco and cotton. Fairly sure it's going to be tobacco we want, just to mix things up. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to want to take So you're going to go to there yeah, See, the only thing is who are you, what are you waiting for? War elephants You don't have your war elephants yet either This Gurkha's coming down Let's see if we can wait a turn and not get attacked in uh, Georgia. Okay, you... so... Dutch fleet trading at the Ivory Coast. So you're as secure as you can be. We need a trade fleet to sail for there, for the Straits of Madagascar, East Africa Trade Theatre. Oh, 
ships and this fleet is going to sail to West Africa. So you've got one slot left. Get a first rate ship of the line. Then top that off with an Admiral's first rate ship of the line. And start to recruit another big kick ass fleet. Then, rounding off where we were before, have you got your guns yet? Where are you getting them from, Baghdad? Perfect, actually. You can head west and meet up with them en route. So you may go straight to here. Ready for embarkation to maybe attack the likes of Patras. Because has Greece got any allies? The protector of Dagestan, that would be quite useful because that's a way to get Greece and also secure Tarki. Georgia, friendly. So if we, okay, so they're allied with Dagestan. So if we declared on Dagestan itself, no, they got some scary allies. So attacking Greece is a good way to do it because that will put us, bring us into conflict with Dagestan as well without drawing in Greece. Greece can then be jumped on by... This army may even stay here. This garrison force may be surplus to requirements. They may go to the Balkans to block up some gaps in our line. So let's keep on... We don't really mind about it being a military governor's barracks. Ordinarily, you would want to optimise your decisions and really get military governor's barracks in the colonies aren't super useful. Oh god, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, I should have any money. I spent it all. Eh, don't worry. Okay, so. You, you are replenishing this force. Attack Damascus. And we do have a reinforcement army coming in. But I don't think it's going to matter. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the Assault on Damascus. Cheers, everyone.